Today, we're talking with USC fighter and ex-military Tim Kennedy. We're talking about the lessons that he learned in the military and how he applied them into his life and how he found purpose in mixed martial arts, the UFC, uh, the fight game, his business entrepreneurship after the military. Today's video was made possible with mullermurrors.com, the best motivational clothing brand in the world, where you can now get the new hoodies and the new journals with the link in the description, where all the profits go back into making this content possible. But let's jump into this amazing video with Tim Kennedy and the lessons that he learned and how he applied them into his life, into fighting, MMA, the uh, business, entrepreneurship, and so much more. Let's jump into this video. So with, when you did come back, was the a, or when you, was there a point where you decided to to put that behind you and, and move on to the fight the fight game or was there a, a period in between or no that was a, it was I was always a uh, product of two worlds like externally looking in you see a special forces guy that is going to war and then you see this MMA fighter and like these are two very different things to me it's the same thing you know I was like a warrior society, a warrior culture. I was just doing two different forms of combat and um, I would have done both of them concurrently. The military had a hard time with allowing me to fight while I was on active duty. So if, if I had my cake and I could eat it too, I would have stayed in special forces. I would have stayed in that, stayed in that special missions unit and I would have continued to fight. You know, I, I did it for a few years and they didn't know about it until finally they're sitting there, they look up at the TV and they're like, that's one of our guys. Why is that guy on television, you know? <laughs> and uh, I got in trouble. So you, so you haven't really put it behind you then in, in the sense that you, the, the private company you've now set up, and like you say, you, you gotta do various different work in war zones now, pri just on a private basis, right? Dude, I'm gonna do this till the day I die. I'll be super clear. Like when, when I'm finally dead and at whatever point that is where I get blown up in combat or, or um, be like just of old age and the wheels fall off and the windows are smashed and the door is just totally broken the, the engine's on fire the transmission's grinding i pull up to the pearly gates and they look at me and they're like bro i can't let this car in here and i was like well there's this is how i ran it so i ran hard in the paint you either let me in or you don't but this 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 hunk of junk is going to sit here until you make a decision like i'm going to do this forever i'm never going to set the sword down um i have been so blessed to know why I'm, why I'm here. You know, like I am so fortunate to, to, to understand my purpose. And um, it would be a wasted life if I did not stay on course forever. People who have a sense of purpose, you know, I think a lot of people worry about being selfish or, or um, yeah, I mean, selfish is probably a good word, especially when you find your purpose, it's almost like, can mute everything else. What do you say to those kind of people who maybe have found their purpose or feel like they're on the edge of it? Like, what should they do? Um, Why? Well, it kind of depends on what the purpose is. You know, um, I thought I was supposed to be, there's a period where I thought I was supposed to be the world champion. And that was a really selfish world where all the meals were about me, all the training sessions were about me, you know, the fight camp was about me, where we were living was about me, you know, my family was not just second seat, like they're, they're in the trunk, you know, because like if you're going to be the world champion, everything else is sacrificed to be that. And, um, but that wasn't my purpose. Like it was, it was part of it. Like I'm, I was supposed to be, I'm supposed to be a warrior. I'm supposed to work. I'm supposed to have discipline. It's, my life is supposed to be regimented and all of those tools are supposed to be carry over to be able to preserve and protect human life and do good and protect people. Right. Um, but I, I was like off the mark and, and you know, my family suffered because of that. My businesses suffered because of that. But then once like that adjustment and alignment was made, knowing where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, like, there's nothing more rewarding than being in line with your purpose. Like it is a fulfilling, beautiful thing when you're like doing what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Um, one, one thing I think you feel like you've found your purpose, um, you've got direction, you know what you want to do, very clear on that. Um, and I think with 
uh, the effects of war on a lot of the military veterans. They don't. They have that more despair. They don't know what they want to do. But I've heard you speak about the skills you now have because you've been in the military, and the, I'm, I'm guessing the skills that they have. Um, I'd love you to speak on that and also so di direct to people like veterans who, who may not know they've got these amazing skills and also employers who might not know that veterans have these amazing skills as well. Yeah. I mean, to you, all, all the military and veterans out there, you're badass motherfuckers. Like you have skills that the best, wisest, most experienced business person on the planet wishes that they had. You have discipline, you understand how to regiment your life. You know, you, the little things, um, when Mattis said, what's the most important thing that you can do when you wake up? He's like, you can make your bed. You learn that in the military. You learn how to do small incremental decisions and those cumulative incremental decisions added up matter. And it starts this, this, this wave of effectiveness and productivity that nobody can compete with because we know how to work. We know how to get up early. We know how to stay up late. We know that time doesn't matter, that getting the job done and getting mission complete and mission success is all that matters, especially for entrepreneurs. You know, like the military and veteran community, you were given this gift of knowing how to do superhuman things. You just have to go and do them. You know, if you set that sword down, if you forget who you were and what you could do, what it felt like to get up at five o'clock in the morning so you could grab a little bite, bit of bite to eat before you go and train for two hours, before you go up to work and, sh and work for 10 hours training to go to deploy six months later, where you then deploy for a year. You know, like that was the, the recipe for success was given to you. You just have to believe it and then you have to do it. And just even more specific than that for me as well is the, the handling of fear and some of the situations you've described, um, you know, for somebody who, who's not involved in the military, obviously it's just like unimaginable almost. Um, again, like talking for yourself and again, people who have been in a similar situation, carrying that over to entrepreneurship, business, uh, work, like is, is there a place for that? Yeah, the, uh, everybody's scared. You know, everybody is fearful of failure. Um, but nobody has experienced adversity like the military. Nobody has faced their adversary with more vicious, visceral, not just anger, but like passion for success for the people to your left and to your right. And I don't know what happens where, you know, when you become a veteran and you're no longer in active duty, where you forget what that feels like. You remember the good times, you know, you remember, um, the experience and the feeling of coming back sweaty and being able to take your body armor off for the first time and how wonderful that breath of air conditioned air felt for the first time. But those aren't the things that you should remember. You should actually remember the suffering and you should, rem you should remember how scared you were. But even though you're that scared and even, even though you're, you're in the most horrific experience imaginable, you still moved your feet forward. You still did what you're supposed to do. And that, that is something remarkable, but you don't remember that. You have to remember that. You have to stop and take a second and value what you did for the people to your left and to your right. And the fact that you still moved your feet forward, even though everything around you was telling you to stop, find cover, lay down and cower. Thank you so much to Tim Kennedy for his time. I'm gonna link all his stuff down below. He is a huge inspiration to me for entrepreneurship. And some people might be surprised, you know, he's a fighter, he's ex-military, he does so much different stuff. But the biggest inspiration that I walked away from that day was his entrepreneurship. He is such a smart, talented guy. And he's applied all those lessons that he learned and he's used them in business. He's unbelievable at marketing. And it's like, it's, it's almost like he's not trying. But he, he is, I think, or maybe he's just, he's, he's not, but when the marketing feels so organic and natural, that's when you know someone's nailing it. And for me, Tim gets it so perfectly right. He works with the right companies. He, he starts the right companies. And uh, he was, a, I walked away from Texas with a huge, huge um, kick up the butt from Tim to be better at business. And with that segue, I want to talk about MullerMurrors.com, the best motivational clothing brand in the world, where you can now get the new hoodie vest with the link in the description. 
And the mission of our company is to inspire change. So all the profits go back into creating motivational and inspirational content to try and change the world. Thank you for all the support we've had. Anyone who's come over um, and supported us and come over to Instagram and you know dropped us a message and an email, thank you to you guys as well. That means the absolute world to us. Um, follow me on Instagram, at Jordan Mulligan Brother. Have a blessed and productive day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.